With the must-win attitude going into this game, the Beaver basketball team felt the pressure to give Gil Coliseum and all of Beaver Nation the win that they have been hoping for. After a three-game losing streak, men's basketball looked ready to win, and that is exactly what they did, pulling away from UCLA in the final moments for the 87-84 win. The Beavers changed up their routine this game by coming out hot with an 8-0 lead. A pattern of slow starts plaguing the Beavers finally got shut down. However, UCLA answered back quickly by making the score 10-9 Beavers. The remainder of the game kept fans on the edge of their seats by keeping the score as tight as it could be. Both teams kept no more than a three-point lead for about 15 minutes. OSU kept a substantial lead for most of the fourth quarter, but in the final minutes, the Bruins came back to make the score even closer at 74-68 in the final five minutes. Ahmad Starks came in for a three to make the lead back up to nine. Then it was all up to the defense. UCLA allowed the Beavers to shoot 50% on the game, giving up the easy layups with their lacking defense. After playing most of the game with man-to-man -man coverage, the Bruins found that switching to zone defense didn't help much as they called for the zone four times and OSU answered back by scoring on three of those four possessions, twice with three-pointers. The Beavers kept their momentum by hitting eight free throws before slowing down to making only two of their last four. Devon Collier came up with 20 points for the Beavers with an 8 and 12 shots made. The Beavers outscored the Bruins 20 to 5 simply off turnovers alone. Angus Brandt also contributed to the Beaver momentum by closing out the half with a late three-pointer to give the Beavers a one-point lead of 39-38. Jared Cunningham finished the game with 21 points with two free throws and 10 minutes left of playing time to give the Beavers its first double-digit lead of the game of 66-55. Oregon State finally pulled out their three-game losing streak with a well-deserved win and improved their record to 9-2 at home, while the Bruins dropped to a 1-3 on the road. After the game, Jared Cunningham, Devon Collier, and head coach Craig Robinson talked about the game. Yeah, we can. You know, um, the past couple of games, we've just been slipping on a couple of plays that set us back. And, uh, you know, our communication was very good this game. And, uh, you know, we made some big plays and some big shots. Um, they just kept on giving it to me, and I just kept on going to work. And uh, it, it was working, so they just kept on going with me. And um, I was playing car, so it was working. What happens with turnovers is you're playing hard, and you force guys to make mistakes. Then there's a second part that we want to take advantage of is that we don't just want to get them to make a mistake and then go down and make another make our own mistake. We, when we get a turnover, we try our best to run something that we know where we can get something out of it, whether it's a, a, a good shot, a layup, um, a foul, something where we can make it a positive event for us. 